Well, hello there and good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are playing Master of Orion 2, and we are actually indulging in the Battle of Antares. That's right, we are attacking the Antares because there's nothing else to do. We've already won the game like twice over, and they're using black hole generators on us, which means the first turn, I think, the way the black hole generator works is the first turn that your ship is being hit by it, it's just like this. It's immobile, it's annoyed, it's it's screwed. The second turn it goes dark like this, and the third turn it goes kaboom. So, we're losing a leader. Sorry. But we don't have much of an, a choice in the matter. We are barraging the enemy with interceptors and missiles and everything we can throw at it. We're going to hit them as hard as we possibly can. We're sort of splitting our forces a little bit. This thing can actually move. How many Marines does he have? 80. Well, we're not going to get rid of that. That's a fact. Uh, I'm going to zap this thing. Oh, we lose it, we lose it. We are just, just overwhelming the daylights out of them at this time. Graviton beam is a little structural damage. I don't mind seeing that happen. We are hopeful that we can get breakthroughs like that and go straight for their star fortress and maybe even do damage to it. But star fortresses are not to be toyed with lightly. They have 3,600 hit points. That is a tall, tall order, especially when we can only do a couple dozen hit points of damage a turn. Yes, the Graviton Beams are useful in this situation because they deal structural damage instead of just armor damage. But where we can get the breakthroughs, we're going to break through. Uh, the game is going to... I would say that the video distribution of this series, just, you know, because I gotta be honest with the viewer here, it's gonna be like one or two turns per video at this point. We're really watching the Battle of Antares. I'm thinking, like, how would I get Master of Orion 3 to be playable on a 64 bit? How would I get it to be playable from a, it's a poorly designed and unfinished game perspective? Would it be interesting to you? It was such an interesting game because you could have a galaxy with a couple hundred planets, but you had pretty decent AI micromanagement of those worlds, so all you have to do is give it a profile and it'll just build it the way you want it. And I've never completed a tech tree. There are like a hundred techs to choose from. Uh, I know Galactic Civilizations 3 came out. I've thought about doing that game, but I didn't like Gal I I honestly did not like Galsif 2. I don't like that, you know, one star will be so close to another that the planets are further out in orbit than the stars are distant. I don't like that. I know that's some like letting real world physics get in the way of a game bullshit, but you know, to me it matters. My missiles are probably my best chance of actually damaging their starbase, so I'm going to have to rely on that a little bit. Kaboom! I guess I'm going to have to start focusing my direct fire on the Harbinger. Twenty-seven. This will take many a turn, if we can even pull it off. We might st we might do like twenty turns of battle, lose, and then I might rage quit. Hopefully, even if we do lose, we at least will uh, have destroyed the Harbinger. It won't come back, although I think it does. Those other two ships, hopefully they won't come back, although 
I'm sure they will. If we lose, we'll just come back with better. I can put everything else on auto build. We are attacking at sort of a low tech point. Let's start clicking through, see if we're done. I'm curious about something. 80 Marines. Still 80 Marines. We could try to Blitzkrieg the actual Star Fortress. See if we can't uh, just Marine it over. That might be our best chance, really, is to Marine it. Even though I know the neutron blasters aren't really doing any any harm, literally. <laughs> yeah, okay. Go forth. 70. Hey, that was actually credible hit points. We're gonna take our time clicking through because we're gonna come across at least one more of those. Forty-two phaser damage. And then launch the missiles sideways. Ah, good. More than one. Those missiles probably are never gonna make it to their target, let's put it that way. It's going to get spatial compressed, I'm sure of it. You know what? I do want you to come over here. I want to try a board attempt. Capture zero. Wow, I'm stunned. That thing's toast. That thing got spanked. He blew up. Whoa, he got raided back. Huh. Whoops. Lots of little explosions killing off my dudes. Oof, what a beating. 30, 12, 24, 25. This is not enough damage at all. 80 is enough. These 80s are pretty good numbers. So how are you? You are still a real significant threat. Oof, that was not pleasant. Oh. Do I hear the music starting to get funky? And not in the good sense. And unfortunately, because we're in the middle of a battle, there's not much I can do about it. Yeah, it's like the audio channels are getting screwed up. 39 is actually significant. 45 is significant, but I'm not in range to board. So that was an ultimately stupid move on my behalf. I killed a grand total of one enemy marine. But dealing a hundred with our phasers, now that's something worthwhile. Whatever the outcome of this battle is, this is going to be the last uh, battle of this recording session, I suppose. Since the audio... I don't know why it does this. I know I'm playing on DOSBox. I know it's uh, an old game. I don't know why the audio is degrading on us, so I'm very sorry about that. I don't know of any way to 
to do anything about the audio, at least not during the episode. <laughs> you know, I, I know you're not expecting a million dollar production budget, but I also know you're expecting it not to be terrible. Plus the music is, it's cathartic, it gives you something to listen to, it's not just the sounds of, oh, MIDI sound engine zaps going on. I'm almost just going straight for the star base, and I probably shouldn't be doing that. The sound is definitely not up to standard. Start clicking through the done button here. Fourteen. We might actually have some more trouble than I thought with this thing. Huh. Definitely would like to at least... So I think 10 damage is threshold for Marine, no? Nope, I guess the Marines don't die from neutrons. How about neutrinos? Turn and shoot the crap out of him. You are so dead. Twelve heavy phasers. That was weird. Hey, we've actually punched through a lot of armor. Oh, you are gonna eat it, huh? Seventy-two versus a hundred. <sighs> this thing's got a leader on it. Twenty-three. Who? Dude with the face. Fourteen phasers. Twenty-one. How close are we to actually killing him? Six thirty. We'll have to see what the uh, fighters I still have on him have to say about that. I can't move anymore, so I'm gonna have to shoot the thing at the distance. It's actually not the worst fate in the world. You are dying present tense. Presents a different face. You might do better with graviton beams on that thing. Let's see how this turns out. 80s. 80s are good. That was bad. Oof. 14, 287, 112, 345. What a pounding. I love how, like, you get a boop doop. I can't even see the damage being dealt. Oh, that's unfair. Wow, we didn't even break through its armor with all those missiles. That is an actual problem. But we are starting to hurt it. All right. One target down. We might not have any music left. But we have graviton beams. Let's end this. I'm pulling up past you. Uh, you're gonna die, aren't you? Can I board it? No. You're gonna die, so I'm gonna shoot you with a neutron beam. And probably... You're dead. You're gonna stay back this turn. And the reason I'm shooting now is because I can't board through 
this guy, but I can pass him and then bring someone else up next to it. Someone else might be able to unload like just one or two extra troops, but might be able to do a little more good for me. And plus then I can get these guys to go through, these guys to go through and bring up more dudes behind it. The big question is do I want to do raids or do I want to do... I think I've got it as well surrounded as I'm going to get it. So the question is do I want to do raids or do I want to attempt captures? And I think I'm going to start with raids at least. No system damage. That's not reassuring. Let's try capture attempt. Capture attempt is the way to go. And I'm just going to three at a time kill their marines you all raid no systems damaged but he's down to 65 marines so I'm just attacking this thing on every plausible front And I'm going to send 10 dudes over at a time. We're boarding, we're shooting. The graviton beams do a little extra damage. That's convenient for me. This should be the greatest victory in human history. Let's play this turn out and see where we end up. We probably even have some interceptors we can deploy on it to deal a little more damage. 48 ships. 48 ships, by the way, it took. If we win, if we win, we have not won yet. And as we get close in, they're going to have perfect game on us. Ugh. Love you can hear him screaming, no! Oh man. What damage, what carnage! Oh, the humanity. But we will see if humanity actually wins this battle in the next episode. Until then, La Paz.